And our lead story this afternoon, well, Akhilesh Yadav is on a two-day visit to Maharashtra. In fact, he's made several important points. Remember, he is eyeing a share in the Mahavikas Aghadi uh, seat-sharing plan. Well, Akhilesh Yadav has two MLAs, remember, in Maharashtra. And he has made it clear that the Samajwadi Party has stakes too. Remember, Akhilesh Yadav, with a renewed strength in the parliament, has regained some amount of negotiating power as far as the India bloc is concerned. Remember, with 37 members of parliament, he is the third largest party. His party is the third largest party in parliament, which is why the Congress may have to concede some more ground to the Samajwadi party as far as Maharashtra is concerned. Clearly, the UP, uh, you know, the Samajwadi party and the Congress alliance work well for the Congress as well as far as Uttar Pradesh is concerned. And Akhilesh Yadav is eyeing a national party status as far as the S SP is concerned. He held a public rally today, which is where he said that, like in Uttar Pradesh, I see my MLAs in Maharashtra. To take a look. और लग रहा है कि उत्तर प्रदेश की तरह धुलिया में भी समाजवादी पार्टी हमें दिखाई दे रही है। हम आपको भरोसा दिलाने आए हैं कि ये चुनाव जो होने जा रहा है, ये महाराष्ट्र का ऐतिहासिक चुनाव होने जा रहा है। हम लोग देखते हैं कि जहां पर महाराष्ट्र में महायुति गठबंधन की सरकार चल रही है यह महायुति गठबंधन की सरकार जरूर है लेकिन महाराष्ट्र की जनता को महादुखी करने का काम इन्होंने किया है महाराष्ट्र में लोग रोजगार और नौकरी करते थे महाराष्ट्र में लोगों को रोजगार और नौकरी मिलती थी आज महाराष्ट्र के कारखाने यहां से छीन करके गुजरात भेजे जा रहे हैं जो प्रतिमा लगी थी छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज को न केवल महाराष्ट्र के लोग बल्कि पूरे देश के लोग उन्हें मानते हैं पूजते हैं हमारे उत्तर प्रदेश के लोग भी मानते हैं सोचिए उनके स्मारक में उनकी प्रतिमा में ये घपले कर रहे हैं तो महाराष्ट्र की जनता ये अपमान कभी स्वीकार नहीं करेगी महाराष्ट्र की जनता इसको अपना सम्मान का चुनाव भी समझ रही है who asked me a couple of days ago said that uh, the negotiating power that the Samajwadi party has now has increased from what was the case in 2019 because of their increased share as far as the parliament is concerned. They are the third largest party in, in the India alliance. Now coming to Akhile Shadav's visit, is it, it is a two-day visit from uh, yesterday he was in Malegao and today he's in Dhure and even the choice of these places is very interesting because they've gotten you know a very interesting demographic which would ideally uh, you know help the base of Samajwadi party and today in his speech he lashed out at the Mahayuti government over their schemes, over the topic of, uh, you know, over the topic of uh, development and also about hunger index, talking about the larger narrative of the country. Time and again, he was making reference to how this uh, election is going to be a crucial and an important one, something that he reiterated on yesterday as well, where he said that if the government, if the people here in Maharashtra are able to give another shock to the Mahayuti government like what they did in the Lok Sabha elections, it might as well shake the chair of the Prime Minister in, in Delhi. Besides that, he also said that it will also have its repercussions in Uttar Pradesh where according to him the government which is out on bulldozing people's houses will also get a reality check. Now while saying all of this, Akhilesh made a very important point by you know calling out people and by uh, you know basically terming them as Samajwadis as well. This come at the backdrop of the seat sharing arguments which have been going on in the Mahavikasa Gadi. Now the arguments or the debates that are going on there are basically between the three parties that is the NCP, SP, Sharad Pawar's uh, Congress party and the Shiv Sena party but then there are several smaller parties which are complaining about the kind of negotiations that are happening. Samajwadi party is not the first one to do it. We saw CPIM also held a meeting in Pune a few days ago where they said that the MVA seems to be distancing its allies and that is something that several small parties are trying to tell the opposition, uh, you know, opposition heads, uh, op big, big heads in the opposition parties that uh, their support is going to be crucial if in case it is a hung assembly. But while reiterating the same point, Akhilesh said that he is committed to forming a secular government in Maharashtra. He said that his two MLAs, there were several wooers for his two Samajwadi party MLAs in 2019, but they did did not think twice before offering their support to a government which would be completely secular in nature and they committed to do it this time around as well according to him if they would only want a more you know a larger share as far as the candidature is concerned